Hey, my Sagittarius friends, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love tarot reading for uh, the 16th of July till the 22nd. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So let's get you started right away. Just to let you know, while I was shuffling, the Knight of Wands came out, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So could be moving into a uh, committed relationship very quickly after coming out of a period of rest. Oh, your first card out is the Six of Wands. Success, finding victory. What else can Sagittarius expect this week in love? Could be dealing with a Virgo or um, finding success and spiritually um, exploring your own wants, needs, Oh, wow. Well, how about that? Sagittarius. Holy cow. This is amazing. All right. Can I get this situation, please? The overall situation. Whoa. A little too many. Sagittarius' overall situation this week. All right. Bottom of the deck. Finding a new spark uh, of creation. Moving towards success, moving towards a loving relationship after a time of working hard on yourself. Um, beautiful reading already. So um, you could be waiting on an earth sign, uh, Virgo especially, um, for the tower to fall in their life. They are trying to get out of a situation and they can't move forward towards you with this night until their situation has come crumbling uh, down. The foundation has been taken out from under them. Um, most definitely the, uh, Virgo, uh, reading was connected to you, Sagittarius, as well as if you had Taurus in your chart, go ahead and watch that because, um, I do feel a Virgo is most definitely coming into your life this week. And then you also have it confirming again as your, uh, action card. So let's see what the six of... Nice. Oh my most goodness. This is amazing. I can't even begin to describe how amazing. Whoa, this is. Okay. So, Sagis, you are finding victory. You are picking a path um, that you want your life to go in. You are no longer waiting for somebody else to make a choice to pick you. You are moving forward and you are successfully picking a path to your future. You've been waiting on this Virgo to come to you. You've been waiting on him to pick or them, him or her. You have been waiting for them to come towards you. They are coming um, this week. They could ha still have some emotional hurts that they are dealing with, but they are um, moving in your direction. You have a choice um, between two things, uh, Sagittarius. You could uh, have a choice between two people, and you are going to um, reach out to the one that you want this week. Um, you are patiently waiting for your blessings to come in, and when your ship comes in, you're getting the Ten of Pentacles. That ship that is docking, they are your 10 of pentacles. Um, most definitely huge blessings coming to you this week, Sagis. All this um, hard work that you have been working on yourself, all this healing, um, this is so beautiful because you are now getting the reward for all the time you put in working hard on yourself to retreating into the mountain, to finding balance, healing, and self-worth, self-love, self-discipline. All of those things that you have had so hard to work on, 
in this time waiting for this earth sign to come back towards you, their tower is falling this week. They have the fool and the two of cups. They are going to take a leap of faith with you, Sagittarius, because they feel you are their soulmate. They feel they can have a future with you. They feel that you are worth the risk. So they are jumping this week. Um, it's so amazing. The hermit and temperance are in the same row. They are finding balance again. They have been out of balance for quite some time. Um, they are restoring balance into their life. They are having healing. Um, they are experiencing self-healing. When you heal, they heal. This is a twin flame situation is from what I just heard. Um, they are going to, uh, they are going to come towards you balanced, grounded, um, successful. They have their shit together, finally. Um, judgment is uh, clarified by judgment, the karma cards. So they have been dealing with their own karma. Um, but most importantly, they are coming back for a second chance. This is somebody that you've been in a relationship with. This is somebody that you feel is either a soulmate or a twin flame um, that you are in separation from, Sagis. They have the King of Cups as well. They have nothing but love and admiration for you with the Nine of Cups. You are their prayers being answered. You are their um, dream come true. Uh, they just had to find emotional stability first. They had to be healed before they could move forward. But they are healing. They are coming towards you. In the outcome, they are leaving an earth sign that they betrayed. Um, could be a Taurus. Uh you guys were in Taurus's reading as well, or Virgos were, I'm sorry. Um, they are, the tower is coming down with somebody that they've been with, um, a Taurus female, especially, but this is somebody that they betrayed, uh, with a third party with you. Um, yeah, they're going to move forward with the chariot here. They're moving on. They're moving on from this relationship because they didn't have what it took to fix it. They didn't want to fix it. With the Ten of Wands here, they're laying down the burden of the relationship that so they can move forward with you. Um, they most definitely are coming towards you this week, Sagittarius, for sure, especially if they're a Virgo. I don't really see any other sign here. Virgo and Sagis and Taurus. Your advice card is the keeper of the scales. Look at that. Fairness and balance. Once... You guys have worked very hard to find balance in your life again, to restore inner peace, to be patient, to be fair, to do things the right way, to learn your karmic lessons, and to uh, be able to allow the blessings of a perfect life or perfect in your eyes to come forward towards you, to bring you the blessings you deserve. And true love just popped out. So this is the romance of a lifetime. This most definitely is a connection that you have been waiting for. Um, they have been dealing with their karma. They have been dealing with their um, judgment day. And now that their karmic scales are balanced out, they are coming towards you. Because this is true love. This is real love. You know the connection that the two of you share. And um, this most definitely is a soulmate connection. Um, if you're not in the twin flame journey, that's okay as well. This is a soulmate. This is somebody that's coming back to you that you have been in a relationship with before, um, that you are currently now in separation from. So um, have confidence, have patience, but most importantly, have the faith it takes to allow this person to come back into your life so that you two um, can, can start once again. I'm going to get one more out. Whoa. One more outcome card for you, Sagis. One more outcome, Spirit, please, and thank you. Because this is the outcome of their uh, their end to their relationship. So let me pull one more card here. Whoa. Okay, the Knight of Wands. So this is going to happen very quickly. And then the bottom of the deck, again, is the Ten of Cups. So this, uh, this relationship can ship coming back in to your life is going to, um, happen very fast, very quickly. It's going to be unexpected. Um, and it's being clarified by the high priestess. So you have, uh, a feeling that they're coming back. You, you know, with the high priestess, it's the balance of 
light and dark. Um, the two pillars in the back is, you know, one's black, one's white. It's the per perfect balance, the yin and yang of life. And they're going to follow their instincts, their intuition, and they're going to come towards you very, very quickly. Um, yeah, and it's a Virgo. Most definitely they have Virgo in their chart. Whether it be uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, they are definitely, this is the second time this card has come out here with the High Priestess. These two cards to me, this is most definitely a spiritual connection because the, uh, the Hermit is the most spiritual card in the deck for my males. And the High Priestess is the most spiritual deck card in the deck for the females. You put them together and, and um, and this is something that's going to come very quickly with the Knight of Wands, but this is um, destined to happen. This is a relationship that is part of a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. This is your um, soul's purpose. So, and it has something to do with the arts. Um, you guys could be um, intuitive or, you know, psychic. They could, one of the two, but your guys' soul purpose is going to be something spiritual and it's coming for you this week, Saggies. So I hope you are prepared and ready for this beautiful blessing. The bottom of the deck now is the star. The stars are aligning this week and you guys are going to move into a beautiful connection, a beautiful relationship that you have been working hard for, that you have been waiting for because the journey starts here. The journey starts now and they are ready for it as well. So congratulations, Saggies. You guys have an amazing, beautiful week coming forward. Um, I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And as always, may God bless your journey with love and light.